It's one of my favorite Goodwills because they haven't started marking items up crazy like some of the other ones. You have a few here and there, but not like some of the other ones. But the first stop was the DVD video game section. They had a few games, Madden, uh, for the Wii and Xbox, and then they had a Wii Fit game. So not really much to pick up here. So from here, I went on to the toy section. I'm not really a big toy seller unless I get them from the bins, but I like to pop my head in here just to see if anything, you know, stands out and I can make a quick bug or two on it, but there was really nothing here today. And then on to the electronics section here. Now, this particular Goodwill does have a large electronic section. It's actually two aisles. Uh, today, they just had a bunch of stuff that that wasn't worth that much. I mean, I know I'm probably looking over a couple things like that Tassimo. If it was complete, that coffee maker there, it would have been uh, worth a little bit of money. Uh, this baby cook and blender here, they had it marked up to 10 again, so there's no profit in, in that. And then down here on the bottom shelf, they had this Cuisinart mini food processor. Uh, some of these Cuisinart food processors go for a lot of money. This particular model did not. But if you run into any Cuisinart that starts with like uh, DLC-7 or DLX, those can go for quite a bit of money. And sometimes the bowl by themselves, as you can see there, go for quite a bit of money. Then on to the appliance section. Now, this is the same store where I found both those Cuisinart and Breville grind uh brew and grind coffee makers they both were eight bucks here uh with the with the breville if you do pick one of those up make sure you fully test it before you sell because those do have a common error on them where the uh, coffee dispenser gets stuck open and it'll give you the error and it will not uh, make any coffee I uh, hear this little Cuisinart, I mean, excuse me, this Keurig. I've sold one of these before red, but it was missing the cover. And this one was missing the drip tray and the water reservoir. So decided to leave them. They'll be at the bins if they don't sell here. And then down on the bottom shelf here, these three appliances right beside each other. The first one is this, I think it's pronounced Oster. It's Oster Regency Kitchen Center. I actually sold one of these before, but it took a while to sell. It did have a lot of accessories, and that what really sells it. Sometimes the accessories are worth more by themselves by themselves than actually selling the whole thing together. And the next was the uh, Cuisinart Bread Maker CBK100. With these, if you can get them cheap enough, they're worth getting. And then the the paddle and the bread pan and those can go for a lot of money then it, that crops there they had it listed at forty dollars but i decided not to get there because the last comp was back in may and it's summer so it will be kind of a hard sale all right from the clothes i mean excuse me from the appliances i went over to the clothes and then the first Shirt that I found was this Travis Matthews polo with a company's logo on it. Uh, I'm going to do another video about how to remove logos because it's pretty easy to do. Then further down, uh, this same rack, I ran into this North Face uh, fleece here. And yeah, they had it marked up to, I believe, $5.99. And the comps on eBay were not that good. Uh, here I actually got a message from a potential buyer asking if a remote that I was selling had the battery back. I replied yes, and they bought it within about 10 minutes of me replying to them. Uh, but on to this jacket, they had it listed at $5.99, and you can see here the comps are just not there. $14.99, somebody did a best offer on it with it being winter and it being, you know, the basic fleece it's not worth picking up all right here's a new brand for me tattoo golf never heard of them uh, but i decided to look it up and i was surprised that some of these 
polos were going for, you know, $20 and $30. Uh, here we have a just a basic Patagonia polo. It's a good size at extra large, so I picked it up. Probably get 20 25 bucks out of it. And then here we have the Burberry London polos. I think I found three or four of these. Um, took them out. And there was another. Here's a black one here. Also found. I just took the time, laid them out. I just wanted to make sure that, you know, they weren't, they were not knockoffs. Uh, so I pulled up a couple on eBay just to check, you know, other sellers' pictures so I can see if, you know, my logo matched up to theirs. Uh, after looking at a few, you know, it everything was good. I just didn't want to get caught, you know, selling knockoffs on eBay, you know, and have my account take a hit. Yeah, but they turned out fine, so I ended up getting this one, and then there's another one that I actually passed by uh, before I got to these two. I'm going to go back and get that one here in a few seconds. That's something that I hate, that pass something up, and it's kind of hard to find it back. All right, here it is. Yeah, this was like a... Uh, Pinkish, pinkish, pinkish orange color. Uh, but I picked up those three, and I think there's another one. This here is a Burberry Brit, and this one was going for quite a bit more because it's more like a performance fabric uh, compared to some of the other ones that the, the the three that I picked up earlier. Again, took my time to you know look at the comps on it. And as you can see, you'll be uh, surprised at how much these were going for. And these were a large. And then right behind it, there was a, another one. And then on to the other side of the rack, I ended up finding another one of those Burberry polos. Uh, here, but my camera ran out of memory actually uh, so this is going to be coming to an end I actually passed up a lot of Peter Millar a lot of Lacoste polos uh, just because I had those Burberry Brit and Burberry London polos in my hand already as you can see there and I was thinking about picking them up but I decided to leave them they'll probably still be there yeah, but I did pick up this Masters uh, polo and with these, you want to look up the. We want to make sure that the tag says "Arm Amen Corner" because those are the more expensive ones. And here's another Burberry Polo. It had a little stain on it, but I was able to wash that out. And that's the end of the video. Like I said earlier, my camera ran out of memory, so I could not record any further. So please comment, like and subscribe to the channel and as always source list repeat thank you